Oh wow, great, fantastic. I restarted the recording because I missed out on that little bit and I thought it was going to be in like an actual, you know, noteworthy like intro video. You know, like how Civ 6 has the guy that's on the boat and then it goes through and it does all the things and it's like a really cool little moment. I thought this game was going to have that too and I had missed out on it because I pressed the fucking record button and it just dipped out from all of that, but uh, apparently I was wrong, and it had SEGA, and that was like it. So like, why are they holding hands? What is the purpose of them holding hands for? Alright. Set one. Hopefully, I can change all this stuff later. I don't know, it looks like he has like facial issues there. He got clawed by something. Let me just look through here. He's kind of bearish. What does this guy look like? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's probably a bear, although he looks like a schmuck. Meh. I'm just gonna go with him. What do you say? Okay. 
while we're at a quiet point in the fucking music, why do games do this? Why do they start out ridiculously loud? What is it? Do they just want to make all of their fucking people who buy the game deaf? Like, why? Why is it so loud to begin with? Yes. What's a good starting sound point? Well, hell, all of us have our sound on mute, so just crank it up there, 100%. No, no, no. 200%. No, 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 no. 300 ear melting percent that will be we want to make sure that you know our music budget gets you know it would have paid for make good use of it I just hope the game loads I heard, I heard a sound. Please, let me to the settings. You know, or like at least make it so that people can mess with the settings the minute that they're in the game. Like, come on. This is just kind of cancer right now. I just want to know what, what to do and how to do shit. Most of which are about rocks and ice at sub-zero temperatures in a vacuum. Rather boring. However, on a small damp rock, there is a story that bears a second look. It's your story. But the first four billion years or so mostly concern amino acids. Not much of a page to have. But then, over time, the amino acids bond together and things start to get interesting and a bit drier. That's me on the beach. A certain subspecies of hominid wow, discovers that, that you can do more with a sharp rock than annoy your little brother. Tools and weapons are invented. The hominids begin to cooperate. Fire becomes a serpent rather than an unpredictable force of nature. They learn to tan the skins of animals for clothing. They learn ways to record and probably exaggerate their adventures. Eventually, these tribes learn to build shelters and immediately hold the first barbecue parties. This is the dawn of humankind. Struggle and cooperation have been rewarded. The Neolithic era draws to a close. The whole world beckons. This tribe has come far, but the rest of their story is your story. You are the one who will build them into a great civilization. How far will you push humankind? Well, if it's my story, then... A new oh. era, a new epoch. Oh my God. While your tribe looks to you for leadership, the weight of all those future, unborn generations also weighs upon your decisions. What sort of lives will they have? Good fucking god. That was so loud. Uh, I was gonna say, you know, if it's my tribe, then obviously they're gonna get to a point where they make this game and blast your ears away with the fucking sound. It is still relatively loud. It's still a relatively loud game. And also... Is there a way I can get FPS tracker going? So we can see how bad my FPS is? It kinda already seems like it's a little laggy. It's locked. I almost raised that uh, in case. Does anything, and I guess I can't get an FPS tracker in this game, so I'm just gonna have to hope. 
Well, actually, I think that FPS lock kind of helped out. Raising that lock. Okay. <coughs> okay, ready? Your first objective is to survive. Oh, that's always good. And, and earn your first Earl star. Era star. Earl. There's no L there. Alright, era stars measure your achievement in the game. We will cover them more. Okay, whatever. What do I do? Fims. Outpost preview. Now, this uh, now is the ideal time to learn about reviewing the Fims resource outpost of tiles. Aha, okay, yield talk. Yield. I don't <laughs> Why did I make it so complicated? This is this just shows the yield what you're gonna get out of your spot. I get horses now. Even those who have disappeared may have done something very clever. Outpost, your tribe has enough star power. Excuse me. Sneezy boy over here. Uh, it starts first outpost. Outposts are crucial to the development of your early empire because they allow you to claim territory outlined by white bordered or white dotted lines on the map. Understood. Um, do I want this here? It is next to the horses. I don't really see getting a bonus for this stuff. Yeah, I found a curiosity. An ancient encampment to provide that stuff. Goodbye. I guess so. It's the tutorial, why the hell not? Okay, I'm just gonna go with the middle mouse click. Five and three, six and four, seven and four, eight and four. Damn, I want to do it here. Screw the place that I was at. Can't put it in the water. Dang it. Put it there. Okay. Now that's a lot better of a place. Eight and four for the yields here, and I'm still relatively close to the horses. And now I'm also close to, I think that's money. Although I can't see it now. Sage. Yeah. Plus four stability per sage on this city. Plus four food per sage. And more food on administrative centers. Wonder effect. On the city, 5% more food and stability. You must exploit at least two or three deposits of this type. Currently zero. In research patronage technology to upgrade this resource benefit back to one. I guess I'm one tile off of from getting the horses. It's just kind of, you know, sticking me in here. I thought this was going to be a tutorial and it was like, just kind of letting me do whatever I want. Right now my nose is all runny. Time remaining until the end of construction. Okay. So my outpost hasn't been built yet. Well, I'm getting in it. Can't get to that quite yet. I think this will be fine. I got, I got it on the hill. I guess I'm gonna end my turn. Got nothing else to do. I can ransack my own shit. That's perfect. But okay, it's a hunting party. What is this? So, hexagons. Ah, uh, I guess we'll just toggle that on and off as we need it. I guess I owned... Oh wait, this is uh, this is probably where it goes from shallows to, to deep sea. There's also white squigglies there. I don't see my own white squigglies. said it would show my border. I guess since it's not built yet. Alright, whatever. Um... Yeah, we'll just end the turn. This 
is a very useful tutorial when it doesn't tell Full you. Full bellies and healthy children. I see where this is going. It doesn't tell you anything. Oh, I wish my nose would stop being all runny now. I sneezed and now it's an issue. You know, that's how life is. I guess I'll just keep getting these curiosities. I don't really have anything else to do. I'm guessing I could get a second one if I collect enough food. Some more acknowledgement. Can I get another one of these? I need 20. I have 5 per turn here. Oh, 5 plus 0 per turn. How to gain arrow stars. There are, finally, it gives me a tutorial thing. Uh, there are three ways to gain. Either increase your population, gather science, or hunt wild animal models. Well, I haven't even seen anything wild so far, so that's a, that's a future endeavor. In order to gain units and increase your population, gather food through hunting wilds or foraging food curiosities, carry countermeasures, counter, counters measure your progress in the empire banner up in the upper left corner of the screen hover over them to get an idea. Alright, I'm 1 out of 5 growth, I'm 3 out of 10 knowledge, and I'm 0 out of 5 hunting. I guess when I go 5, 10, and 5 I will have a star. It's gonna be kinda hard to do. All military forces. All cities. I have both of them over. Um, do it. I guess that's all next turn. Let's we'll keep going up. I don't think there's really anything there, so. Pressing more buttons. This is gonna take five turns. Really? To it's a good thing I put it here, not down here. Down here is gonna take like no turns at all. Nah. To be fair, I don't know if it told me to make it there or not. I just looked around and I thought this was a better place to put it. I guess if I did put it there, I would be collecting knowledge. But I'm assuming once this is made, I can expand it potentially. Maybe. Maybe not. This way. And another curiosity. Looks like food and then tech of some kind. And here's some more borders and white squigglies. This time, though, it's not out at sea. Man, it's still like relatively loud. I don't know. You know, that's like another thing I liked about games, certain games is... Alright, that's not so ear-piercing now on some of those turns. We found more! Oh, hey, I got a second. Tribe. I like split them up. Transfer, Nomad, Combat Strength. How do I split them? What if I want to take some of the tribe out of this? See? Like that click? Click is nice and loud. You can hold left control while clicking on a unit to add it to the section. Toggling this will allow you to click on units in the army and select a subgroup for them. Holding left click, holding left shift while clicking selects all units between the selected units up to the clicked unit. What was the other one? 
Oh. And whatever. So far, to me, control and left shift seem to do the same thing. Uh, whatever. I guess I can't split them up, so. It'd be nice to be able to explore the ground a little faster. More. Now I have ten. Yay. Can't see how much science I have. Oh, that's a thing. What is this question mark? I bet you can at a certain Yeah, I think it's just not allowing me. Or maybe it's Oh okay, here we go. What's over there? Split it up. Hell yes. Alright now you guys this way. gonna go this way. Oh, look at that, I managed to click right on them. I see her. This way. I guess the blue dots are my territory? I have no clue what's actually happening. All I know is that I keep trying to just what's over there? cause something to happen. Events will occur during the game based on how you play and how you shape your empire. It is up to you to choose how to respond to these historical challenges. Careful, re carefully review proposed choices to make the best possible decision for your people. Select here to see more about the event. Violent <laughs> pursuits. The last winter was especially harsh to ladies brawling. Uh, the ground hard and the frost chilling to the bone and the heart of the settlement. The tribe huddles close to the shared warmth through the close, coldest days. But for some, it wasn't enough. Some needed to get their blood flowing, and they found a means through violent games, grappling, fighting, contests of strength and endurance. One contest where opponents fight with hand-hide bound fists Boxing was gained quite a following to the point that the outpost usually foraging usual foraging mission missions are under threat. What is your say on the new pursuit? Encourage lose food on the nomadic tribes plus two strength on a unit on a unit. Uh, the toughening of the tribe is worth the cost of forging capacity for bid bountiful on him that for so much time well since do I even have a city yet? I even see that I still have two turns before my settlement's even built should allow these contests but only at decreased times or decreed times of the year minus 25 percent domestication research cost these games will be forbidden the tribe encourages encouraged to, to stay warm by forging faster <laughs> get to work faster slaves Uh, I don't know. I don't know how good domestication research is going to be later on. If they're not going to be particularly mad at me for forbidding these. And I would say this. Wish I can move this shit around. Alright, influence, star power. Every empire has traditions and customs that spread from territory to territory and human the uh, humankind this propaganda nation 
is known as star power. Don't, don't get this wrong, it's star power. There are many ways you can earn and spend star power in the game. In the Neolithic era, earn star power by hunting or discovering science curiosities. You can you you can then use star power to fund your first outpost and take control over territories. Okay, let's minimize that for then a second so I can see what is happening. I wish I could see like anything. You know, like, how do I know how much stuff I'm getting? It's probably because it hasn't been made yet. The hell if I know what the hell is happening. You know what? We're just gonna go with the bountiful because all look it tells me. Plus five food a turn. I guess I just straight up lose five food. But then again, I don't know how much food I even have. Also, it doesn't show me things anymore. There you go, you gotta click on them. So if I do that, am I gonna go down to 10 on this instead of being at 15? How does this all work? <laughs> it doesn't really tell you much of anything. I'm assuming it's gonna take five from this, so we're just going to go with. Does this tell me anything? No. Even if I select it, nothing. Uh, again, I'm not fighting anything. Although this is like a permanent bonus. Now start out with less food. It's probably do it's probably having me make this decision because I'm about to become a city. So I think I'd rather just grow fuck it out here anymore. It's not a negative there's no like negative connotation to it. My feet hurt. My feet hurt. This way. I gotta remember the next food curiosity I find to give it to them because I don't think it's shared between these two. World deer. A world deed locked. A uh, wonderful lake. Hillier. Has been locked by another empire. If you are struggling with any uh, mechanics or notions in the game, make sure to check out the tutorial videos. Simply select tutorial videos from the game menu. I thought I was in a tutorial. Also, how do you hunt? I haven't found anything to tell me how to hunt. I'm assuming I have to physically find a wild animal, because, like, look, look, there's that. It's whatever that is. How come I can't hunt that? It looks like a bear. Let me hunt the bear. There's also another thing right here. How come I can't? I don't know how to hunt. They never told me how to hunt things. What's over there? over there Move. there's some more food and then I'll have a third hunting party again I don't know if it's good to spread them up, spread them up or not I'm, I'm assuming I want to be able to spread them out because so far I've covered all of this area from my city and I still haven't found any hunting anything. So it's another curiosity. 
What is this though? Unknown strategic resource. Okay. Guessing that doesn't really do me any good. I do have enough. More food. I like food. Oh, I found a deer. Preparing for battle. Finally, something. Before you choose to attack any army, wild animal, or city, you can preview the balance of power between the two armies. In order to do so, select the attacking army. Select your attacking army and then hover over the defending army hover slightly closer to preview the battle area and deployment zones oh slightly longer all right we're 11 to it's 8 so technically we probably want to wait this way Come back this way. Let's we'll have you guys join up and then we can take on the deer together. If I was 11 before, yeah, okay, I'm 22 now. And that should be a sure bet. Population gain. It's gained a population. It's finally a thing. Yay. Cannot be done without adjacent city. So you can link them or something. Districts. This will allow you to place the outpost on a different tile in the same territory if you... Okay. I guess that's the outpost. And I could move it if I wanted to. Um, I guess I can also make a unit. Take my, my population away. Um, could I do something? Yeah, I can make a new population. Or a new outpost if I wanted to somewhere else. So realistically right now, besides maybe wanting to make one like here to get this, like really nothing else to put it down on. And then that's all I have. This is all I have right now. What is what? Is, if enabled, when, uh, and when possible, open a notification will focus the camera on the location of the event associated. Okay. Open and close the notification area. I don't know what the little thing is. Okay, I think I did what it was asking for. Uh, do I want more people? Or do I want another outpost? I mean, like, there's a four there. I guess I would rather claim a more area. Since I have something that's supposed to be bringing me in money, it's not even bringing me in any money. This was the same as this, and it gave me food instead of money. So I don't get that. I couldn't place my outpost on top of it either. Let's just go fight a deer. The deer moved away! Are you kidding me? It moved freaking away. It's not allowed to do that. Where did the freaking deer go? 
That's fantastic. I should have. Alright, well, now I know whenever I find a goddamn deer just to fight it. Even if it's a losing battle. And we have a lair. The dark and fitted dwelling of dangerous, aggressive wildlife care should be taken both in its environ, environs and when sacking its riches. I mean, like animals will come out and attack us. Oh, what the hell a lair does? <laughs> I can't believe that. What a turn of events. Oh, the deer's back. Oh, don't play with my heart, deer. I need to stay in one spot. Fire be with us. I'm pretty sure I could win against this. Yeah, look at this. Your side is the stronger overall. Let's just do manual that. You guys are waiting for deployment. It, I think it said something else. Deployment phase. The colored tiles represent the deployment zones of both armies within the, the larger battle area. Deployment is key to maximizing the potential of your troops. You will progressively learn what parameters you should be taking into account. For now, pay close attention to elevation and attack range. You will always strike much harder if the attack if attacking from a higher position. What's over there? Okay, deploying your troops in order to move a unit onto a different deployment tile, you left click and then right click. I understood that. Oh, and then the destination tile. Well, I tried to do that and that didn't happen. I had to right click. Uh, if you select a tile with a unit on it, the units will switch. When you are happy with your deployment, click the deployment button. Yeah. I'm gonna take out this deer. Alright, rounds. A number, number, a number of battle rounds is played every turn. The number of remaining turns and rounds can be found at the top of the panel. I guess I have three rounds. I want to move you first. I move you here. See, like, I can't, I just can't left click. I can't drag, I have to right click, so I don't understand what they're saying with that bullshit. Only in other realms. Kill them! I can do that, but I. Maybe because I'm too high now? I guess there are melee troops. This kind of got really kind of shitty looking. Earth gives us strength. I could have totally taken them on with just the basic peeps here. Your spoils, bosses. Average health changed from 100 to 80. Spoils they missed. Unit lost. One doggo paw. Okay. Hunt of Rashiliki. Whatever that was. I guess I gained uh, some food. No, I gained food from the other one. There. Gathered from the other one. All right, how did that go? I got one hunting star. Uh -huh. we move. Guess I'm all out of movement points. What about you guys? Still a move. We move. Aha, a bear. 
I saw that bear. Is there more food somewhere around? What is this? It's a something. It's a something I don't know what it is. A uh, fungal hoarder. <laughs> Goddamn fungal hoarders. A shift to fixed. A bodies and a body a bodies. Hadn't been easy for the tribesmen and women who settled in the outpost, but <laughs> they preserved and now persevered. Wow, I don't know why this has become really difficult for me to read. Um, it just has been. Also, I might have to lower some settings. Um, because it's kind of maxing out my computer even after restarting and starting it out fresh. Anyways, but they preserve, persevered. Uh, and now thought of the land as home when they discover that one of their numbers has been hoarding mushrooms that he had found in a nearby cavern for himself. It was a great blow to the spirit of the tribe. Now they want to banish him for his greed. But that would mean being deprived of the location of the mushroom field. What is your reckoning? Yeah, why would you want to, like, ban him? I mean, obviously it's kind of a dick mood to be hoarding food, but I mean, like, if everybody is eating fine, then... Is it really that bad that he was hoarding the food? And also, if you banish him now, then he'll just go back to the cave and eat all the mushrooms, and then... Oh, yeah. We might lose some fungus, but we'll make an example of him and post lookouts so that this doesn't happen again. The tribes... The tribesmen made a mistake, but he'll learn the extra food will be welcomed. Okay. The man will leave the settlement, but will remain of the tribe. His day will be decided to learn more about his strange species. Will be dedicated. I could get more science, but what the fuck is science doing for me? Nothing. So I guess we'll just do with protect. Just keep giving me more food, so hopefully that I grow and then actually be able to do something with this. Also, I'm gonna get an extra one of these, and they can head over here and join them. But we'll hopefully find another one, and then I'll have three people to fight that bear. Oh look, more food, just like that. Well, it's really kind of more close to me than anything else. And so, should I be more or less backtracking through all of my shit? Yeah. Also, how many people can I have? Can I just have like an almost an infinite amount? Some things are still really loud, like the sound effects. Good god. What is with the sound effects? Plop it down some more. Uh, Big Joe. I'm just gonna go to simple. My computer's not the best, guys, okay? You'll have to forgive me. But once this loads, hopefully it doesn't just crash. That would be fun. Oh, 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 okay. Good god. Almost like everything crashed. And it crashed. Alright, well. I need to get to see my, my screen with Aku. Anyways, this will be the ending of this. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll probably jump back in, switch the setting to simple, and hopefully try the tutorial again. The tutorial, that's not very much of a tutorial at all. It's more of a mindlessly walk around and then maybe we'll tell you something tutorial uh, later on. Otherwise, this has been the first 
the first humanity or yeah, humankind video. Hope you guys liked watching, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.